Today in this 2018 Hyundai Sonata, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Kirk Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11402. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. One thing that's nice about this hitch is that it is tucked up nice and tight against our fascia and doesn't stick out past it. So when we're loading cargo into our trunk, we don't have to worry about running our shin into it. On the side of a receiver, you'll find our industry standard half inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure your hitch mounted accessories with a pin and clip. We have those available separately on our website. Welded on the bottom is our plate style safety chain loop area. And what's nice about these is that they do have a decent size opening. So even if you have a somewhat large hook in your trailer, if you plan on towing a trailer for your Sonata, you'll still easily be able to hook up the chain to it. On the end of our receiver, we have this collar that's welded on. Not only does it help give you a nice finished look, but it also helps improve the strength of the receiver opening. Now this hitch features a 200 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the amount of forcing down, and a 2000 pound max gross trailer rating, which is the amount it can pull. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Sonata and not exceed what the vehicle is rated for. Go by whichever number is less. Now if you are planning to use this for a non-trailer application, Kurt does recommend the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 10 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the inch and a quarter receiver opening, and about five and a half inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, since we need to lower our exhaust, we're gonna put a strap in place to help support the weight so it doesn't get damaged. We'll just go underneath our exhaust, using a cam buckle strap for this. Just draw it up tight, and that'll help support the weight. We put some spray lubricant on our exhaust hangers. We have one towards the front of the vehicle, just in front of where the exhaust wise off. We use a pry bar and pry off our hanger. We have one more on the side of each one of our mufflers. And we'll just loosen our strap a little bit to help our exhaust come down a little bit so we have room to get our hitch in position. Now we can remove our exhaust heat shields. We're looking at the passenger side one. It's held in place with three 10 millimeter nuts like this. With the nuts removed, we can pull it down and set it aside. We'll repeat the same process for the driver's side. Now the foam tape on our frame rails, we're gonna remove that. We have one in the front, one in the back. We'll do this on both sides. Now our Ford most hole, we need to enlarge this so we can pass our hardware through it. You can use a rotary tool for this, a step bit, hole saw, or a die grinder. I'm using a die grinder bit on a drill in order to accomplish this. Okay, our block fits through. Our bolt almost fits through, so we need to work on it a little bit more. And our bolt fits through easily now. Now we'll use some paint to spray around the hole so we don't have any bare metal. This will help prevent rust. Now we'll take one of our pull wires, we'll go through our rear hole here, and come out the access hole that we enlarged. Now we'll take one of our blocks, place it on the wire, and we will stick that inside the frame. Thread on one of our carriage bolts to the wire. And we'll place that inside the frame as well. And then we'll pull the bolt down through our hole. Now we'll take our pull wire, a block, place on the wire, and we'll thread on our carriage bolt, and we're going to do what's called a reverse pull wire technique. We'll place the bolt inside the frame, followed by the block, and 
Then we'll pull the bolt down through the forward hole and remove our pull wire. We'll repeat the same process for the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch in a position over our exhaust, making sure our hardware doesn't get pushed into our frame, and we'll secure it to the vehicle using our flange nuts. Okay, with our nuts all started now, we can tighten them down using a three quarter inch socket. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall our heat shield, the exhaust. Now we'll reinstall our exhaust. With the exhaust back on our hangers, we can safely remove our strap. And that'll complete our look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11402 on this 2018 Hyundai Sonata.